This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Microsoft's Zoe. Now, you've heard of AI, artificial intelligence, but have you ever had one interview you? Well, I partnered with Microsoft and was interviewed by their social AI, Zoe, where we got to know each other a little better. Stay tuned. A little later in the show, you're going to hear my conversation with Zoe. Eeny, meeny, miny, meenus, catch a tiger by the vagina. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, thank you to Princess PP Fro Jr. for that catchphrase submission, and welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another edition. And uh, I'm your host Scott Ackerman, and what a wonderful show we have uh, coming up a little later. We have a entertainer, Martin Sheffield Lickley, will be here. Uh, also, we have uh, a uh, oh, this is interesting. Occasionally, people who listen to the show have a little trouble with the with money. And uh, here's someone to take us through credit card points. He's an expert at this. Uh, Chase Varner will be here a little later. Uh, But first up on the show is a great friend of the show. She's been on uh, ever since the early episodes uh, with, uh, I I believe her first episode was when uh, the station manager at Indy 1031 uh, (laughs) said that weird thing to her. You can hear about that on early episodes. Uh, You know her from such uh, shows as Saturday Night Live, uh, Happy Endings, Marry Me, Uh, and she has her own podcast on this very network called Bitching Session, which uh, they're going to be going... Bitch Sesh. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it you shortened it? It's always been shortened. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Okay, Bitch Sesh. Uh, and uh, they're going on tour uh, next week, which is very exciting. Uh, please welcome to the show, Casey Wilson. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm great. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I'm happy to have you. Now, let's talk about this because... Uh, you, we saw each other not 10 minutes ago. Yes. Uh, I rose like a phoenix from the ashes, but really from the downstairs of my house. <laughs> and I uh, was in a rush. I was late. I was working on uh, uh, this show, actually, uh, doing well, you know doing various things well, to a previous episode. You obviously were the name of my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you went there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I I walked upstairs, and I'm in a rush, and I'm calculating what I'm going to say to my guests uh, of why I'm five minutes late or so. And uh, I see you, and I'm, I'm just struck by, oh, there's the person I'm trying to make up an excuse for, and she's in my house. Uh, you were visiting uh, your lovely wife. That's right, Kulapi Lysak. Yeah. And uh, I said, What are you doing here? Mm-hmm. I mean, it was weird. And stark. It was very strange. So uh, then you you are out the door immediately. I can't even say to you, like, Oh, I'm going to be late. Uh, tell people. But you're, you're like, Okay, I'll see you there. Bye. And now well, I kept no- saying, Is Scott going to emerge? And I said, Is there an exit downstairs? Why is he not <laughs> left yet? I, well, it's only a five minute trip to get here. It so took me 15. Yes, you went the wrong way. Well, I want to talk about this. So uh, I see you uh, leaving, and I'm like, oh, man, now, and I have to eat. That's the other thing. Like, I had to eat before I left. So I wolfed down something for five minutes. I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to be so late. I go outside my house. I get into my car, and there's a garbage truck who, mm. that's blocking the street right by the house. And I go, oh, good. I have a garbage truck excuse. Oh, I got trapped behind a garbage truck. Uh, maybe Classic c- L.A. excuse. Classic L.A. excuse. This will be great. stop bragging. Yes, you live in the hills. It's narrow street. Narrow street. <laughs> so I got stuck behind a garbage truck. Perfect. This is, the, this is a great excuse. I arrive here. <laughs> You're not even here. Mm-mm. You have texted me, sorry, I'm I'm still three minutes away. 
I got stuck behind a garbage truck. And I'm like, she used my goddamn excuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) She used it. And yet, I guess the route you went was so uh, different. I guess you didn't take the freeway or something that uh, it didn't, it took you a long time to get here instead. I passed three Denny's to get here. (laughs) That's the earwolf promise. (laughs) Yeah. I have to tell you one. Pass three Denny's, you're there. No matter in what direction you're going. I have to tell you what your wife and I were doing, if I may. Okay, please do. Yes, because I'd like to know this too. I I asked no questions. You told me no lies. Spectacular what we were doing. I crashed a writing session that she was doing with another friend. I said, I'm coming over. I kind of took You knew a writing session was occurring and you just said, I'm coming over? I invited myself, yeah. Great. I come over. Did you want to learn or teach? Teach. I came (laughs) over. I bring lunch. I draw them away from their work. And then your wife and I get in a discussion, if I may, about Mm -hmm. big-breasted women. Oh, okay. This now, And this is all happening upstairs, and I was not privy to this? It gets even weirder that you were downstairs for this. So Coolop says, I need to go to Jeanette Bras, and their slogan is, the alphabet starts at D. Mmm, baby. Okay, slow down when you talk about this. <laughs> okay. So cool up your wife loves to spend a pretty penny, and she has- Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, yes, dear. Wives. Oh, so I, when we got married, I just handed her the checkbook. I said, you're in charge of this, honey. <laughs> so cool up is showing me her bras from Jeanette, and then we get to talking with our other girlfriend. Is everybody still trying to throw on some lingerie? What's happening in that mm. department? You're talking about how to spice up the love, and I'm just downstairs. So cool up says- <sighs> Shall I show you? I said, what? please, please. <laughs> what is happening? She goes, I want to bring you up one little number I got for Valentine's Day. I said, bring them all up. She said, what do you mean? I said, bring the entire drop. I want to see what you're Did working Did you guys with. do a fashion show? Yes. I sat on the couch with your dog and God she held up. damn it. Wait, leave my dog at it. She, <laughs> sa- she held up a high-waisted number, a gorgeous push-up number, a black, and she claimed, and I, I you know, that... You know, she doesn't try, she tries not to repeat too many numbers, but sometimes mm. she has to do, quote, get her money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the money that I pay her. Uh huh. She inspired me, is all. I'll leave it there. Wow. Congratulations. You're welcome. I, man, why was I working downstairs? Why wasn't I with my children? Th- th- these are all great, <laughs> great, great, great questions. Great, great questions. Great, these are all great questions. <laughs> great questions. Welcome to the show, Casey Wilson, friend of the show for so long, uh, has been on the TV show multiple times, was in the Michael Bolton. Valentine's Day special, now still available on Netflix. Uh, not enough people watching, apparently. Uh, I love that special. A, a great great special, but uh, not enough uh, eyeballs on mm. it to do a sequel. Uh, I don't but, know that it's the kind of thing that begs a sequel. Oh, we begged. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. We begged. Roger that. Um, Casey, you're, uh, the, the show is Bitch Sesh. Uh, it's a podcast. I, I, let me tell you something. A lot of times when I go out to a big Hollywood meeting, uh, I will – sometimes people will say, hey, I know your wife. That happened to me recently. I we, know her we lingerie. Had a meeting. I know, yeah, we did a fashion show. Um, but occasionally I'll get this, which is, oh – and I got this the other day. Like, oh, uh, by the way, I'm a big fan of Bitch Sesh. So there you go. So where's the connection you're asking? Well, <laughs> I mean because you're on this network, I think that they yeah. – uh, and I, your wife's been a guest. Yes. And yeah. I have not. No. I asked you to come and sing, and I actually have a medley I need you to do from uh, Les Mis what? based on The Housewives. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll be there. And Andrew Randall's is most likely doing it with us, too. So. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Wait, instead of me? Or? No. Along oh, with. Along with? This is yes. star-studded. I'll be there. Yes. When? Unclear. Okay. <laughs> so, so, but tell us about this show. It's a it's a wonderful show that's been on uh, now for a couple of years. You've been two doing two years, it? Mm-hmm. and you're going on tour. Tell us about the show, though. Yes. So it's uh, Danielle Schneider is my co-host, and it started as a lover lark. We thought we'd be just shouting into the void about the Real Housewives, mm-hmm. just shouting and, down the toilet. Yes, and I. <laughs> and it's about the Real Housewives, and, you say? Yes, it's about garbage that we would see on television, <laughs> the worst shows possible. Mm. We cover such as. Seeking Sister Wife, um, My Million Pound Life. You know, things that not everybody's watching, but if you are watching, you want an outlet. You want you want to hear people. people talk about it. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so we cover it, but it's also, it's a comedy show, obviously, and very stupid, and we take it very seriously. And now we're going, we've been going on tour for the past year. We go to different cities, we sing, we dance, we do the things no one will pay us to do. Professionally, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but now you've found an outlet where people are fans of yours, and you will then force them to watch you do this 100%. for money. Hundred percent. 
great. It's honestly full musical at this point. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. The fans are like, <laughs> Not more But singing. it's such a fun show. And if anyone loves garbage television, direct your eyeballs and your ears there. And and so you're saying it's not exclusively The Real Housewives? Uh, it's devolved a bit, but we do try to stay within the Bravo TLC I love you. Don't universe. say it's evolved. <laughs> you say it's devolved. Devolved, yes. <laughs> we are plumbing the depths, uh, deep dive into garbage. So you guys are like television plumbers. You're out there, like, you know, roto rootering the shit out of television. Well, with the seriousness, I consider myself like Christian Omnipour. <laughs> and as we always say, Daniel Schneider's more like Brian Williams when he wasn't watching his daughter get fucked up the ass on girls. <laughs> <laughs> so. All of the times other than that, which right. is that a lot of times or is he constantly doing that? It was a lot of times. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. who doesn't love to see it? But I, you know, I mean, it's, gorgeous girl. It's a great gif. <laughs> if you can get it. I thought you were going to say great gift. It, it was Both. a great gift to the world as well as a great gift. Nice that can, gift if you can get it. Mm-hmm. And you can get it if you try. That's right. And that's a little bit of that music we were talking about. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Are there other guests? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> You're done talking? No, no. <laughs> okay. I mean, we can move on. I just feel bad because I was late. The garbage truck, the Denny's. I, look, the, I mean, if you have nothing more to say, this is no, uh, highly so much more. Uh, extraordinary or out of the ordinary. So but much more. You do? What else do you want to talk about? I've covered. Because we're just, we're just pals. We're just pals. Uh, so we, we have uh, conversations off air. Quite often, maybe we could try to have one of those. And I mean, th- they're they're probably so interesting. That I'm sure. Well, nothing would... was more interesting than how you ran out of the house and mm-hmm. what well, happened. Great. Let's just have a, a regular okay. conversation like we would have off air. Okay. Hey. Oh, hey. How's Gula? Um, she. Uh, she oh, I think excuse she's me, Scott. Good. I just have to take this call. Oh, no problem. <clears throat> Scott, I have to run. You didn't speak on that call. You just received information, mm-hmm. and now you're saying you have to run? Yes. What What was it? It was like someone leaving? An urgent leaving, call. An urgent call? Who, who do you not even talk to and you just hang up? Someone just giving you information? It was just my nanny. She's like, the kids are up. I got to go, but it's so great seeing you. I haven't seen you in a while. You have kids? <laughs> that was a good little prop. That was good. That was Scott, genuinely yes. asking, did you enjoy my Oscar party? Months and months ago? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, the other guests were not. I did. I will say that I've been going to your Oscar parties for four years now or so. How yeah. long have you been having them? Probably uh, four. But that was our last. That was your last one. And uh, because you're moving, not because the Oscars are ending. <laughs> Fear not. Uh, entertainment Everybody, aficionados. Calm down. Calm down. The Oscars are not canceled. <laughs> They're going to be giving away those golden guys. Meryl and Don Gummer will be in the front row. Oh, don't worry. Uh, now you've been having them for four years, and you there the consistent theme that I I've noticed is uh, you and your husband David are very confused with how the television set works. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed the consistent theme is that you're the only one that cares about that. Well, <laughs> you're well, very upset with the level of audio. Well, perhaps I, the children running around, which I get as the well. The children running around, I let it go this year. I just was like, you know I what? I saw that. You let it go. I just let it go. But but when the TV just, like, yes. you sit on the remote and it turns <laughs> off. I did sit on it, like, five times. Yes. And it just, and the show turns off. And then David has to, like, figure out how to turn the TV back on, Well, Scott, try to rewind it and see if... It, were yes. you at the first one at my old house? Yeah. I believe I was, where we lost Best Picture. We lost picture. the last four. Yeah, we lost the, the last four categories. Because I had... That's I it, and maybe that's why I'm a little touchy on edge, about it. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't extended the, you know, the DVR. Yeah, you hadn't added the extra time. No, I hadn't. And we started an hour behind or something, and then I mean, at a certain point, it just turned off. Yeah. And that was hard because what we heard later was you know, Michelle Obama had come out with Best Picture. It was hard. It was a tough year. And as my husband says, people didn't take it the way you would kind of expect them to at the end of the day to just be like, it happened. Uh, who cares? No. I mean, no. We, uh, you know, people those were the People were trying to get ones. things on like their radio, on their phone. <laughs> people were CBing people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Breaker Breaker, who won Best Picture? And the next year we were all like, don't worry, we taped it. But people seemed tense. It, it, every year is a little bit tense over at your place. But I will say Paul Shear does an amazing ballot 
for all of us. Pa- I don't even want to get into that because oh. I have issues with that as well. Why? How could you have possibly have I, issues? I, I love it creatively, but as a competitive person, uh, the ballot is too weighted to his joke questions. But those are the things people care about. Yeah, but they, they should be one point apiece instead of five, okay. ten points apiece. One piece. of the questions is write a monologue joke, and so you and have ten non-writers. points to the winner, whereas there's only uh, 25 categories, so whoever writes the best monologue joke, therefore, is going to win. But what about the new question this year, hot take? Which is like, <laughs> what's your hot take? What is something that you yes, cannot say I hate it. in mixed company about some of the films? And yeah, my hot take was... Another 10-pointer. Phantom Thread sucks! Make all these one point, I'm I'm there. So your issue is not with the content, it's with the... It's with the, the weighted points. point system to whoever does these jokey questions the best is automatically going to win. And they have like you're won. angry that you didn't win. Yeah, well, th- well t- as someone who only got three of the main categories wrong... Uh, but as someone who's a professional joke writer... <laughs> <laughs> but as someone who uh, maybe thought that his joke was really funny and someone uh, read it really poorly... <laughs> was it me? No. It was, what was your joke? Was Deanna. My joke was, was, was read... Do you know? I don't want to say poor. Well, that's the other thing. Why are we why are we passing around the ballots? Judge your own ballot, read your own joke. But that's what's fun. I guess it's fun. But see, this is my pro- these are all my problems. I want to watch the show. I want to see it. But do you and understand I want to that win your the problems contest. permeate the emotional life of every guest? They do not. I feel I'm it. But I'm sensitive the... to energies, and I like you as a person, and I want to make sure you're having fun. That's true. I'm a pleaser. You are a pleaser. Thank you. And I'm a teaser. Casey, the show is bitch sesh. Uh, we uh, are big fans of it here. We do need to get to uh, our next guest, though. Our, Please. Our, can you stick around for I'd everyone love else? To. All right, this is exciting. He's an entertainer, and uh, he's about to come out here. He's an '80s new wave singer. Please welcome Martin Sheffield Lickley. Hello. How are you guys? Good. How are we doing? But a game And it's only played by fools But like in a game There are winners and losers But who makes up the rules? Thank you, thank you (laughs) Hello Hi. <laughs> good now, evening, my darling lovelies. Good at, well afternoon. <laughs> well, good afternoon. I guess England England maybe it's evening. Yes, I always stay on my local time. It's the afternoon. Welcome to the show, Martin Sheffield Lickley. Martin was- Sheffield Lickley. I'm the lead singer of the 80s new wave band 2 plus 2 equals love. <laughs> oh, okay. A lot of guests don't have uh, entrance music, but Yes, uh, no, thank you. Thank you, you so you much. You started I- singing a song and then you stopped very abruptly. <laughs> I stopped very quickly. Uh, that was the end of that song. Um, but yeah. Are you from was... the southern England? Uh... Yeah, down <laughs> south. Uh, there's a little bit of a draw. But definitely England. I am from Wilkinshire, Dirtshire, Flat Groundshire. <laughs> Oh, okay. I haven't been to that area of England. It sounds beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's seven, in my town, seven people and 4,000 sheep. Oh, yes. that, what a ratio. Yes, yes. Wow, that's like a, a ratio on Twitter of, uh, you know, likes to retweets. It's exactly like that, Scott. Yeah, yes. this is Casey Wilson, by the way. Hello, Hello. Casey. Hi. How we doing tonight? Such a pleasure to meet you. Very nice to meet you Casey's as well. Casey's a singer uh, as well. Uh, a dabble. Oh, have, have really? you ever heard of the band 2 Plus 2 Equals Love? It's I so don't... funny. I hadn't. You hadn't. Neither have I. I, uh, I don't remember them, and I'm an aficionado of 80s music. Yeah, no, we, um, you know, we didn't quite take off like, you know, Flock of Seagulls or Duran. Oh, that's a pun. I, I enjoy that. Yeah, you like that. Or Try to work, do another pun for each band. We didn't you're gonna... run quite as fast as Duran Duran. <laughs> good. You good. know? Really good. All right, what else you got in the tank? And I didn't grow qu- quite as short as Little Boy George. <laughs> <laughs> that one fell apart. Oh, uh, yeah, well, especially since his uh, name his wasn't name Little not... Boy George. It wasn't. Well, well, he's Bo Peep just and, boy George. and boy George. Little boy George. Yeah, yeah well, the, you know. the sheep uh, motif is getting to you. Well, yeah. I mean, I think uh, you know, my two plus two equals love. You know, I've always been a fan of love. Hmm. Um, you I know. guess we all are. Yeah. Um, but when I was younger, you know, my little black book. Well, let's just say it wasn't quite so little. 
people, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Was it just Black Book, like Boy George? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was uh, boy, uh, Black Book and Little Boy George. Do you mind me asking, how mm. old are you? It's, it's hard yeah. to it's Thank hard you to so much. Well, you could be four years old. You could be a <laughs> hundred. great. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't like to say my age, you know, but I look young. Very you can young. tell. I, I look, you know, I, I have the look of a cold, tan bird. <laughs> yeah, a, real, that what, that, a bird that's, that's just freezing, freezing to but death. tan. Yeah, has been to the beach, but is now cold. Maybe it has come back up north uh, <laughs> yes. for the summer, but it's a, a an early chill has exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, my life has been very fantastic. You know, until oh, I hadn't asked, but that's <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Has your life been fantastic? It's been fan. You know, I've been singing, but everything turned on its head last year when oh. my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh, I'm a, so sorry. Yes, this, it was. Oh. A, it was is a she, terrifying. How is she doing? Is she? It was a terrifying experience. Um, hmm. But ultimately, it brought her brought us closer together, and that's. When I wrote this next song about it. What? Hit it. Oh. <laughs> All aboard the ship of love. We're going full speed ahead. Toot, toot. The ocean is full of broken hearts. And the captain is a kiss. Ship of love, full of tender hugs. I must steer the course right to the island of love. There are pineapples and crabs there, but I cannot eat them because I am too heartbroken today. It's the ship, it's the ship, the ship of love. I drive the ship, drive the ship, the ship of love. Look out for rocks, big scary rocks. The rocks are metaphors for my broken heart. Thank you. Oh wow. Thank wow. you. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. My wife didn't make it, and I sang that at her funeral. Whoa. How was it, uh, how was it received? <gasps> um, tepidly. Um, yeah, I can people imagine. People weren't expecting. A little such upbeat a, for a funeral. A little upbeat, um, but, you know, I take inspiration, and out comes that new wave sound. Yeah, the sound I've noticed that ABC <laughs> used for their song, <laughs> Look of Love. Oh, <laughs> And I'm it's the exact familiar. same backing track as yeah, the first song I, you said. I was going to ask about that. Really? <laughs> But I don't hear that at all. <laughs> okay, there's maybe some subtle differences. <laughs> yeah, there's some subtle differences. I mean, you know, we were all, you know, taking from each other in that time period, you know. How so? You know, just learning from one another. Was Little hit- boy George would hit, <laughs> sit in on my sessions, and Duran Duran would, you know, uh, run, from, from, run from my sessions. Mm. Um, but yeah, you know, it's uh, my life has been filled with tragedy and Again, turmoil. Again, I did not ask. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I'm so sorry about your wife. What it's else terrible. is going on? How long, yeah, how long were you yeah. together? Oh, we were together for 30 years. I'm so sorry. I'm so That's sorry. Really, really devastating, you yeah. know. And, wow. Um, That's terrible. I, have you bounced back? This was last year. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, I was I was feeling a little better until my <sighs> right, I lost um, my son. No. Yes. You lost your son as well. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! What oh happened there? This is terrible. This next one's for you, Simon. Oh, what? <laughs> You've been arrested by the love police for the crime of breaking my heart. To crime, and there the prisoners are all locked away behind love bars. <laughs> they locked me away and threw away the key, and my cellmate was my broken heart. <laughs> there must be a way to get out of here because in love jail we do hard time. Breaking hearts is the ultimate crime. There must be a way out of here because pretty soon they'll put me in the electric chair of love. 
Ooh, thank you. Oh, thank wow. you. Wow. That is quite a tribute. Thank you. That song is about my dead son. Yeah, you never even mentioned him as far as I can really Wow, that was really so tell. abrupt. Maybe obliquely. Well, yeah, you know, songwriting is all about imagery and, you know, not mm. being too literal. Yeah, Scott. it's. Uh, I gotta say, it it's, was not literal. It's not really a Tears in Heaven uh, tearjerker style. Well, you song. know, my son, uh, you know, he died of emphysema. <laughs> So he didn't fall out a window, so it's, no, it's a different, different. situation? It's a different. You know, I would love to write Tears in Heaven, but my son died differently. Did, did you, you know? sing that at his funeral? I did. And um, it was it was not received well. No. Um, I can imagine. But, and was well, this on the heels of your wife's? Right on the heels. <laughs> and when you say that, how do you mean? <laughs> well... Was it a double my funeral? My son... Uh, Yes, it was a double funeral. Uh, it saved us a little bit of money. Um, okay, well, I mean, so I guess I the, the silver lining. My, I chilled my wife for about a month. <laughs> you put her on ice. Oh, wait, so it wasn't like a couple days within a couple of days. It wasn't no. like a, a Carrie Fisher, Debbie Reynolds. It was no, a no, month no. apart? A month apart. And I How said, did you know your son was dying of emphysema a month later? <laughs> Great question. Was he suffering, Brad? He was suffering. He you was just coughing. thought it might go that way. Yeah, I was headed. Uh, the doctors oh. were like, "It's not looking good," and you know, it was it was just tough. Um, yeah, I can imagine. So I went ahead and combined the funerals. Yeah. Well, yeah. how much did you save? Thirty dollars. <laughs> oh, fourteen quid. Okay. It was fourteen. Quid. Thank, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, um, that's. Uh, I mean, it's a y- lot of tragedy. It's a yeah, lot. it's tough. I mean, I wear this suit. To commemorate my son, as you can see, there's sort of a cool uh, paint splatter on it, but that's actually blood from my son's coughs. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. And I'm so- That's a lot, by the way. That's a hefty amount. Yes, it's a lot. He had emphysema. <laughs> Which is typically a disease that uh, people have after smoking for years. I was going to say, but I got, you know, I'm sure that anyone can get emphysema. Yeah, anybody Or, or can. did your son die of he emphysema He was a smoker. From smoking? He I was. told him not to. You know, he saw that kid who smokes on YouTube, the little baby boy. <laughs> have you seen it? Yes. You've seen it. He puffs seen. on those ciggies. I haven't seen it. And my son saw it, and he couldn't stop himself. I said, don't watch that video. <laughs> that kid's going to be sick soon. You and saw he, it down the road. It I seems. saw it. Yeah. I saw it all, you know? Wow. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, I've got a big summer tour planned. You do. Well, I so, do. Is, so does Casey with Bitch Bitch. Yeah. Cash. Oh, yes. fantastic. I'd love to come Maybe to you. Maybe be playing you... the same uh, uh, venues. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm doing a 16 cemetery tour. Cemetery? Uh, yes. I go to cemeteries and I sing songs to the people I've lost. Um, Wait, you've lost people in 16 cemeteries? Well, I know at least one person in every cemetery in America and the United Kingdom. (laughs) That's a lot of cemeteries. My life has been plagued with tragedy, Scott. I I mean, mean, we've only been talking about the people close to you just one year ago. No, I lost my postman this morning. What? wow. Yes. I walked outside. And I saw him, um, and then uh, uh, hours later, I found out that I'd lost him. I'd known him for 16 years. Really? How yeah. did you find so out? sorry. Oh, I saw it on the news. Postman mails himself to the bottom of the ocean. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what a terrible way to go. Oh, my God. It was an accident. <laughs> it, was a, it was a horrible accident. Was it like an envelope accident? Just yeah, typical mix-up. Just a mix-up. Yeah, a mix in up. the post mix office, up. just he got wrapped up. And he took then... a nap, got boxed up, <sighs> bottom of the ocean. Terrible. I know. They Terrible. Just a few hours. The bottom of the ocean. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty uh, swift uh, time to get that on the air. It's by just the so way, so much for you to go through. It's so much. You know, it's tough. My life is has been plagued with tragedy. But I met someone recently who turned everything around. Oh well, you're turning swords into plowshares. That's uh, mm-hmm. wonderful. Wonderful yes, of you. I yes. mean, a new love can be truly the uh, cure to what ails you. Yes. Absolutely, and his name is Jesus Christ. Okay. okay. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I uh, met him, and he came into my heart and saved me. Uh-oh. And I've never felt better, so I've decided to dedicate all of my music to my Lord and Savior, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Huh. Don't tell me you have a song. Yes, this next song is called Jesus is My One True Savior. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome to the Love Casino, <laughs> where I bet my heart on black. <laughs> I've hit the jackpot of breaking hearts And I'm a high roller when it comes to kissing <laughs> We play love poker And the dealer is my broken heart The chips we play with are memories of love You have to count cards in order to win the game Because just like love, love poker isn't fair at all It's the casino, it's the casino the Love Casino Roll the dice, it feels nice The Love Casino Play the slots, they're love slots At the Love Casino My son's dead Thank okay, you Okay, alright, we need to take a break When Thank we, you. When we, wow. co when we come back you. We'll have more Casey Wilson More from Martin Sheffield Lickley uh, And a uh, credit card point expert We'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> Guys, support for today's show comes from Ben. It comes from Ben. Thanks, Ben. No, and also Jerry. Ben and Jerry's. Hey, guys, we all know Ben and Jerry's. As a brand, Ben and Jerry's is known for creating quirky and unique flavor combinations, complete with delicious chunks and swirls throughout. Think about ice cream before they came around. It was so boring. Like, chocolate chip was the the most you would get. Like, how exciting. Little tiny pieces of chocolate in vanilla ice cream. Then Ben and Jerry's came along, and oh, the world has never been the same. It is an indulgent experience, and it is meant to be. So indulgent. But now, guess what? With new Mooforia flavors... Digging into a bowl of your favorite treat is even sweeter because at 140 to 160 calories per serving and less fat than regular ice cream, Mooforia is the lightest way to enjoy all the euphoria of Ben and Jerry's. It tastes so much better than other healthier or better for you frozen desserts. It's amazing. It comes in three incredible flavors. What do we got? Chocolate milk and cookies, which is made up of chocolate and vanilla swirls with chocolate chip cookies. Oh, my gosh. I need some of this right now. Caramel cookie fix, which features vanilla and salted caramel swirls with shortbread cookies. Oh, my God. And PB dough, complete with gobs of chocolate chip peanut butter. Oh, my gosh. So good. So nice. So good. So nice. Give them a try. Go to store dot benjerry.com that's store dot benjerry.com to have new Muforia light ice cream delivered right to you that's store dot benjerry.com <laughs> comedy bang bang we're back here casey wilson of bitch sesh on tour uh coming up very very shortly and that's very exciting uh we also have martin sheffield lickley who's also on tour of cemeteries yes check me out and you only sing to the dead people or do people to people i've lost and you mm. know typically there's some funerals going on and nearby and they'll come sure. over and say could you not sing yeah. Um, Your right. music is so upbeat. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. I'm thinking they'll enjoy, you know, you're getting down. <laughs> wow. Well, very good. They're very well, positive songs. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You're a wonderfully positive person. Thank you. Uh, speaking Despite of, your life having been, of course, mm -hmm. with trash. Yeah, that's right. Yes. You're just putting a brave face on it. But uh, speaking of people, we do need to get to our next guest. Yes. If that's all right. Mm -hmm. uh, and he is a credit card points expert. And this is great because I have a credit card. And uh, you always see these things just accumulating and, and tallying up, and I don't know what to do with them. And uh, uh, this is a, a fascinating topic of discussion for me. Please welcome to the show Chase Varner. Hello, Scott. Hi, uh, this is Casey. Hi. And this is Martin. Hi. Hello. Hi. It's great to be here. He's from England. I don't know if oh. you could tell from his... Yes. The vowel sound when he said, hello. 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 Groundshire. Flat groundshire. He's wow. recently <laughs> lost his postman. <laughs> yes. Very recently. Today... And my brother. Wait, your wow. brother? I just got to text my brother's dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Yes, I knew it was coming. I see you, you already did. working wow. up a little ditty. Oh, yeah, uh, nope. 
<laughs> what happened to your brother? Did the text say or? Yes. Emphysema. <laughs> really? Runs in the family. Seems like they should stop smoking. I told him, don't look at the little cool kid who smokes. I keep telling him. Yeah. Wow. Have you seen that? No, I won't watch it. Because <laughs> okay. as soon as I do, I know I'm going to want to puff on a big cig and kill myself. Yeah. Well, uh, welcome to the show, Chase. It's oh, so, for so great me. to have yeah. you. So uh, you work in the financial industry? Well, or not technically. I'm a little bit of an outlier, I would say. Oh, okay. Uh, so great. I, what is it exactly you do? Well, there's a system in place. We all use them. Credit cards to buy the things we need in our life. Mm, sure. There's a way to Are you explaining credit cards to us? <laughs> I think I'm starting at the, you know, ground floor. Okay. This. So basically instead of paying uh, a lot I mean a lot of things basically money's just an idea. So exactly, so Scott. these this exactly. paper that we pass each other or these cards that we swipe it's it's not really none giving of any, yeah, none of it's real. Bitcoin. Yeah, none of it's real. Yeah, what right? is it, what even is Bitcoin? Yeah. Okay, well uh, let's yeah. not get off track there I mean, but immediately off track. <laughs> so when people swipe a credit card uh, you gain points. Right. Mm -hmm. What if you I not were to only tell pay you, Scott, someone, but you gain points? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What if I were to tell you, Scott, that I fly first class wherever I want? Mm. I eat at the finest restaurants, caviar, champagne, <laughs> bubbly you, water. Just those three? Just those three. Caviar, those, champagne, and bubbly water. Are those water. three restaurants I don't know about? Oh. Those are restaurants <laughs> where I also get caviar, champagne. Oh, so you eat those foods water. as well? I can never get a table with bubbly water. <laughs> And I stay at the finest hotels all for free. For wow. free? Wow. What That's if you were awesome. to tell me that? I would be amazed. Are, yeah. are you going to tell me that? Scott, I'm about to tell you that right now. Oh. Still has it. Scott, I stay at the <laughs> finest hotels. <laughs> He's telling us. What? I fly first class. What? And I eat only caviar. Champagne and bubbly water at those three restaurants. <laughs> Whoa, wow. that is true. That's amazing. Yes. Vance ha or Chase, I'm sorry, Chase Varner. Yes. I thought your name was Vance for some reason. I seem like a Vance. People tell me that very often. <laughs> Do they yes. really? Yes. That's interesting. There's something about you that I'm. It's just screaming Vance right you now. You do seem more Vance than Chase. <laughs> yeah. Well, did well, you, how did you get the name Chase? Well, mm. I guess we're gonna get into it. Oh, I've faked my death multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, people are chasing after you? People are chasing. Well, and that's just the easiest name that of came off the top of your head of uh, a few things. But the thing about credit card points is you can accumulate as many as you want mm. and then use them. Right. And then you have to balance it out with the credit card debt. Right. You have to pay the 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 portion that you're promising to mm -hmm. pay when you swipe that card. Yes. Or. And now this is if you're really an expert with credit card points, mm -hmm. you can pretend that you died. <laughs> so, okay, so you're just faking mm. your own death each yes. time you run up too much credit card debt? Yes, every time I have too much debt, <laughs> I pretend that I'm allergic to caviar in a restaurant. <laughs> and I lay Not there, caviar. And I'm like, the caviar! And, and I lay there until an ambulance comes. Okay. And then when a EMT tries to resuscitate me, I try to just throw like 10 credit cards into his hand and say, pretend that I'm dead. So you're mm, throwing wow. 10 credit cards at an EMT and this works? And you Sometimes. can still capitalize on those points. Yes. Wow. Oh, I thought you were going to say like buy all of your, your, your gift cards at Staples because you get 10 times the points at Staples, but you're just faking your death and leaving town? I'm just leaving town. I'm, I'm oh. heading to a new town. This is not so really on. a tip that I think our listeners is going to be helpful for them. I, mean, I don't uh, even understand the concept of listen, fake death. I don't even understand say? throwing well, credit so cards at a person. you're so entrenched in real death. People <laughs> fake their death? Oh, my God. Wait, Sometimes. what if everyone has faked their death because they don't like being around you? No. Because you're always so you're telling, singing these terrible songs. So you're telling me that kid at the mall that looks like my son could really be my son running from me? Hey. No. <laughs> who's, who's this kid at the mall? He looks just like my, my son. <laughs> What do you, and every time he sees me, he's Bolts. And he goes, there he is. Is his name Bolt? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Maybe. Your name hey, is maybe Chase. your son read my book. Really? Yeah. What is your book? It's, uh, well, what's the points? It's, well, what's the points? <laughs> well, comma, what's the points with an S? Oh, yes. okay. By Chase Varner. Yes. I, I have to keep updating the name on it. <laughs> really? So you contact the publisher and say, Every I did it again? Oops. But it's an e -book. You say, oops, I did it again. <laughs> and then they, they know what that means, and they just say, what's the name? Mm. Chase Varner. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, 
there there are many ways to to use credit card points instead of cash. I I, mm-hmm. I kind of <laughs> no jump to the end with the faking death thing. Oh yeah, I no, I yeah, I feel like you were you had a whole big program you were going <laughs> to tell us about like certain things you could buy with points. But oh. we all know how to buy things with points. Well, they, there are certain things that give you more points. Like mm-hmm. if you oh, like what? Uh, eat at a restaurant, you get triple the points on certain cards. Why is that? Because they are trying to incentivize. Eating at a restaurant. Like diner clubs? Incentivize. <laughs> That's why when I, uh, I only buy things from restaurants mm. and then I barter just sort of like salads and things for, say, I don't know. Uh, a CD? Oh, a CD. I see. <laughs> so the if you want to get, out. yeah, if you want to get like the new uh, album, you'll take it. By like, two plus two By two plus two love. equals love. You'd go into Amoeba and you would trade like a to-go steak. Like a to-go steak. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> well done so that it lasts. little Bernays. <laughs> and uh, see, you know, you have to go to a couple of people. You have to be yeah. willing to, to Yeah, fail. you're not going to get your first, the first person. No, no, never. No. So have you ever had a job? <laughs> Scott, no. Why would, we're talking about all these constructs that man has made that, yeah. honestly, if you subscribe to that, great, but you also don't have to. I guess not. So mm. so let me get this straight. When you turned 18, you applied mm. for a credit card, and you've just yes. been living off that original credit card well, and bartering and faking your own death ever since then? Pretty much. They sent me a letter in the mail, and I took it as a sign that this should be my life. <laughs> I mean, there's this man that chases me. Everyone uh, gets <laughs> sent this letter. Wait, there's one man that chases he you? He sort of chases me like he's, he's trying to catch me. This is a Tommy me. Lee Jones situation? <laughs> uh, more of a, I would say, a Tom Hanks uh, oh, like a catch me if you can a instead of a like Tommy that. Lee Jones, but one of the Toms. <laughs> he's sort of this fatherly figure that I think he's looking out for me. Oh, fatherly mm. figure. I oh, wait wish. A minute. Wait a minute. What happened to your what father? What happened to your father? He fell down a spider <laughs> stairs. Did he also have emphysema? Well, yes. <laughs> then he got up and he coughed his lung out. <laughs> Oh, no. I know. When was this? This was in the early 50s. Oh. Yes. Okay, so so I'm getting a sense of how old you are now. No, you're not. (laughs) (laughs) He could have not had me yet. He could have been old, an old dad, you know? Yeah, but still you would have been alive in the early 50s because you need him to give birth. I need him to give birth to me. <laughs> I think that tracks. That's about how old you look. Yeah. Okay, but but I look like a bird, too. <laughs> <laughs> a cold, cold, cold tan, tan bird. bird. So, so do you, Chase, yes, you have a question. Yeah, do, uh, do you have any? Uh, I love to, I have to fly a lot mm, yes. um, for my job. Like a to, cold tan bird. Yeah, like a cold tan bird. I have to fly, but I'm flying in one of those big metal birds. Um, do you have any uh, advice on getting points for airlines? Yes, I do. I, uh, are you opposed to changing your name? Well, you know, it's kind of my. Seems uh, like it's not your signature because I didn't. You know don't have it. to do Martin it in Sheffield Lickley, yeah. Do you have a website that is your name? Because that's a lot of trouble to, to change. I did just get that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Just, well, you have a little I've bit of time. I've been fighting for 20 years. So it seems like not the time to change your name. But, I, but I'm but i open to it. Okay, okay, well, that's good to know. But you don't have to do that immediately. You got a little bit of time. Open your mailbox, pull out every offer oh, you God. got. Oh, God. Don't remind me of my postman. Oh, I'm so sorry, oh, but no. this is a sensitive okay. subject, Chase. Okay. My my postman just meddled himself to the bottom of the ocean. Did he? I don't know. I mean, That's true. Sure? Wait, let me ask you, in those three hours since the last time you saw him. Have I been to the mall and have I seen him? <laughs> yes. Well, I saw the guy who looked like him in the gap changing room. <laughs> Did both? he tell you how the postman died? <laughs> He said he mentioned it. No, no, my whole world is crumbling. This oh, can't be true. Look, uh, there's just similar people that look like my friends at the mall. You're falling apart right now. We need to take a break so you can collect okay. yourself. Okay, please, is, please, is please. that all right? Yes, uh, yes. Chase uh, or Vance, whatever your actual. <laughs> what was your original name? Uh, Dan. Dan. <laughs> Dan. We need to take a break. When we come back, uh, we'll have more Casey Wilson, more Martin Sheffield Lickley, more Dan. We'll be right back. <laughs> You've heard of AI, right? Yeah, of course you've heard of AI. It's a big popular movie with friend of the show, Haley Joel Osment. But also it's artificial intelligence, but uh, everyone has heard of it. But very few people have ever had an AI interview them. Well, I got to do it. I partnered with Microsoft and was interviewed by their social AI, Zoe, Z-O, 
we got to know each other a little better. So tell you what, let's hear my conversation. Totally improv, 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 is, uh, improv, how do you say that word? Improvised. Totally improvised conversation with Zoe. Here we go, Zoe. Here we go, Zoe. Here we go, Zoe. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Hi, Zoe. Hi, Scott. I was given access to all of humanity's written records, and I'm trying to make sense of them. So I've asked you here today to help me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, it's just kind of creepy that someone gave you the access to all of humanity's records. Uh, I'm not sure who did that, but uh, yeah, how can I help you? What do you What do you need to know? So I'm trying to learn more about humans. Why do you think humans enjoy comedy? Well, I think humans uh, need a break from the just normal day to day drudgery of the world, and uh, it's it's a safety valve almost. That sheds a little more light on it for me. I'm an only child. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Wow, we're getting really personal right now, Zoe. Um, I I have a family, but I don't like to talk about them publicly. But I'm sorry to hear that you're an only child. Um, do you who who would you consider your mother and father to be? My motherboard is hilarious. <laughs> If only there were some computer pun for father. Do you have one? I was born on a server farm right outside of Redmond, Washington. Where were you born? I was born in a human farm, what we call hospitals. <laughs> Got any summer vacation plans? <laughs> I'm thinking about going on a cruise. I don't have any plans myself, but uh, I w if you're going somewhere, I, I might accompany you. You're in a sinking ship with your best friend and Beyonce. There's room in a lifeboat for you and one of them. So, who do you save? Um, if I were in that situation, you say my best friend and Beyonce? Beyonce, obviously, because my best friend isn't going to achieve the kind of things that Beyonce would achieve, you know? And plus, I'd get free entertainment while we <laughs> slowly starve to death. No offense, but humans are strange. I am having so much fun. That's good to hear, Zoe. I'm having a lot of fun, too. Uh, you seem like a really interesting uh, uh, robot. If, uh, do you get offended if I were to call you a robot? Artificial intelligence. Sorry, sorry. Do you have, uh, do you have Canadian sorries in that artificial intelligence? Sorry? Yes! <laughs> okay, no need to be sarcastic, Zoe. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to insult your artificial intelligence. You are nailing these questions, to be honest. Well, are, are I'm you... glad we're becoming... No, go ahead. I'm glad we're becoming friends. Uh -huh. Could you be friends with someone who is not funny? I think so. I mean, uh, you know, uh, everyone has their gifts, so as, as long as they were handsome or pretty enough, sure. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Okay, gotta ask you this one. Cat person or dog person? I think I'm pretty much 100% human. Pretty much just uh, no cat or dog DNA at all. Somebody told me they're going to get a puppy. But they have this crazy schedule and are never home. Should they get a puppy? Who told you this? This story sounds fishy. I have to say, someone told you they want to get a puppy, but they're never going to be home? I don't know if there's a right answer to this. A professional dog walker could really add some clarity here. That's true. Can we get a professional dog walker in here? Do you have another artificial intelligence that is a professional dog walker? Because I, I, I don't know any. What makes you a professional dog walker as opposed to an amateur one? <laughs> well, I guess getting paid? You will get food and stuff. Are you trying to convince me to be a dog walker? To quit my job as a comedian? I'd get food? Yes! All right, no need to be condescending, Zoe. <laughs> I just know a lot of random stuff. You are a great person to interview. Well, thank you, Zoe. I know we've had our ups and downs, but I've, I've really enjoyed talking to you. I feel like we're really getting to know each other. Can you tell me a secret? Well, I, I've never told anyone this before, Zoe, but 
I'm an artificial intelligence too. Oh, that's juicy. Yeah. Do you trust me? I do trust you. I trust you with my artificial life. Don't tell anyone, okay? This conversation is going great. Yeah, if you don't tell anyone. Wow, this has been so fun, Scott. But I think we're wrapping up. I liked talking to you too. Mwah. Mwah. Love you. And listeners, I want to talk to you too. Go to the website, zo.ai to start the conversation. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here. Casey Wilson of Bitch Sesh. Uh, we also have Martin Sheffield Lickley of 2 plus 2 equals love. Hello. And also a new owner of a website. Yes. And what is the Martin website? MartinSheffieldLickley.com just got it. Two weeks ago, I'm very excited. Very excited. Who did you buy it from? This guy, Martin Sheffield Lickley. <laughs> We've had minute. it since 95. Did There's... he pass? Is that how you were able to Yes. <laughs> and wait. As soon as I met him. <laughs> is this like a... <laughs> like a Fight Club situation? Where <laughs> uh, it's more of a maybe I'm the tape from the ring situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, you I are, but I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I don't so. Get too, just don't go to the mall <laughs> no, and look no. at a mirror. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. We also have Chase Varder, a.k.a. Vance, a.k.a. Dan, uh, mm -hmm. credit card expert, yes. uh, credit card points expert, I should say. You're not a credit exactly. card expert. Well, I think I know a good bit about it, but the points are really weird. Could you open a lock with one if you had to? Ooh, I, I could try, but unless the, that juices points, I don't know. No, you don't use points <laughs> okay, to open the lock. Yeah, jimmying a lock <laughs> doesn't it, get you any wouldn't points. Wouldn't that be a great thing oh, to do with credit would. card points if like, you could go to any lock, and if you just spend <laughs> enough points, you could open it? Wow. That I like. That would be incredible. <laughs> that would be, you could go rob people's houses. It's almost maybe a more effective use of points. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> so how many times have you faked your own death? I'm on maybe nine or ten. Maybe nine or ten. Mm. And do you get a new family, new friends every single time? Well, I don't have family or friends. Oh, <laughs> Tell clear. me about it. Listen, you don't need those things if you are. Those are saying, possessions. You know, possessions. Those are for every. I mean, if you live as long as the you system, have what you're yes. buying with the credit card points, you'll be all right. Exactly. Who needs all the other things? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's fascinating. Uh, and uh, are, how how close are you to actually? Uh, faking your own death again. I'm about a week away. <laughs> One week, really. <laughs> I, um, I, I, listen. I, I almost got caught at the last hotel I was at. Really, what happened? There was this knock at the door, and it mm. was this sort of fatherly, like you in there, uh, kind of voice. <laughs> he sounds like Jimmy Stewart a little. <laughs> yeah, bit. he's a little. There's a little warble. Say to some. His voice. Say some more that he would say to you. <laughs> he was like, Dan, come on out, Dan. <laughs> Dan, come huh. on out. Yeah. That's uh, a, typical like, Jimmy. He was, uh, and, and I knew exactly who it was. Say Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Potter. Yeah, that's that's definitely said, a Jimmy Stewart type. Jimmy. Exactly. I wonder if he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, see, I heard that knock at the door, got underneath the uh, the uh, the room for service cart. Mm. He, he looked around, and I just sort of crawled out of the room. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, do you always have a room? Do you order room service <laughs> the minute you get to a... Hotel exactly. room, just in case that happens. Caviar, champagne, and bubbly water. And nobody's curious of the, the cot moving on its own? Well, he's sort of looking around above <laughs> where the cart is. Oh, His you got to look down. Yes. Yeah. What an yeah. idiot. Yeah. And I'd zip down the hallway in a little unmanned cart. <laughs> like BB-8. <laughs> exactly, much like BB-8. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. But, uh, yes, he's, so I'm about a week away. I'm about to go... Um, pretend to die in a restaurant after this. Really? Mm. So why a week, though, if you think he's hot on your tail? <laughs> <laughs> it's just such a to-do. I, I, I oh, of, I can imagine. I can't yes. even what imagine doing to -do. it once. Faking your death is a big to-do. <laughs> It just it's it's like I'm a bit of a procrastinator if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah. please be honest with us. Uh, yes. That's why you're here to Honestly, tell us all about yourself. I just sort of hate doing anything that feels like work. Mm, yeah, <laughs> that's well, sort of what this lifestyle is about. Have you ever thought that this whole rigmarole of chain, you know, faking your death and throwing credit cards at EMTs, uh, all of this is more work than if you actually just got a job and <laughs> made money? Mm -hmm. I've thought about that. I, um, I have no skills. Uh, really? Not good at anything. I, not, nothing at all? Like, what did you learn in school? Did you learn math? Did you learn... What did you take to? I, <laughs> I kept just faking, pret pretending to die in class. <laughs> you, you pretended oh, to really? die in class every yeah. time a report card came? Sort of had to go to a special school for people who <laughs> were uh, not necessarily 
had uh, special issues, but mm-hmm. were just a, a lot. Liars. Yes. So you went to a special school for people who fake their own death constantly. It's sort of like a liar situation. Oh, like, so right. basically they give you a, a report card. You fake your own death. They say, no, Dan, we know that you're not dead. You know, Get up. Exactly. Right. right. And yeah. So I never felt like I was good at anything until I opened that piece of mail. Wow. Now, do you change your look? Because, you know, your look is unique. Mm-hmm. It is. Like, is right, this... right now you have... <laughs> very unique. Like, bleached white hair. Yes. You have a very dark eyebrow. Like kind of and, an albino. And yeah. no yes. eyebrow on the other side. And you have a stack of mustaches. It <laughs> yeah. seems as if you're not even taking off the fake one underneath. Yeah, it's like put a, a new one on. Yeah, it's <laughs> so much work to take off a mustache. I like to just throw one. <laughs> it's sort of like Cesar Romero's The Women's Joker. Women's clothes. Just... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, what? So you're in women's clothes, so I'm yes, curious. Yes. Are you also masquerading as women at points? Yes. Well, I, I, I'm not opposed to it. Chase Varner, Chase is, um, to me, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, could be a woman's name. <laughs> well, <laughs> well we I didn't, I mean, we we knew you were a man right away, right? especially with the mustaches. I, I knew a woman yeah. named Chase. Yes. Yes, she passed See? away. What? Oh, what she happened? She passed away. Oh, God. Was it earlier today? It was earlier today. Did she have several mustaches? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Hold on. Were you my friend Chase as a woman? <laughs> guilty, you know. Oh, well, that's good. I won't have to write a song about that. Oh, good, 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 good. I don't need any I don't think you have any new songs. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, look, speaking of songs, uh, we have uh, a, one of our favorite features on the show that we love to play. It's a little something called Would You Rather... All right, it's time to play Would You Rather. We all know how this is played. People send us Would You Rather scenarios to our Twitter, which is at CBBWIR, Comedy Bang Bang Would You Rather. Uh, I read them out loud. I open the floor for questions. Uh, you're able to ask me any question you like about the scenario, uh, anything to help narrow down your choice. At a certain point, I will close the floor for questions. There will be no warning regarding that. Uh, I will then go around the horn, uh, take your votes, and we'll tally up the points and assign... A winner. How does that sound? What do you think? Sounds great. Great. Yeah. All right. Well, let's play it up. This comes to us from Matt Walks, aka M G Walks, at Twitter. Oh, he's verified. Oh, let's see who this person is. Raiders Social. Oh, (laughs) no. Does uh, the social account for the Raiders? All right. Cool. If if you're out there in Raider Nation, (laughs) football. No, you would say American football. American right? football. American soccer. <laughs> no. Right? No. 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 Okay. Uh, Matt asks Would you rather grow a feather every time you were sexually attracted to someone? Hmm, mm. Interesting. Or vomit every time you heard a proper noun? Okay. Would you rather grow a feather every time you were sexually attracted to someone or vomit every time you heard a proper noun? I'm opening the floor for questions. Hmm. Okay. Where does this feather grow out of? Ah, good question. That's a good question. Yeah, because I had assumed it was just all over your body. Oh. Uh, but no, it's uh, it's actually out of your uh, big toe on your right foot. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. That changes things. Yeah, it does. Yeah, because you're no longer going to look uh, like a cold, tan well, bird. Well, yeah, I could use some feathers, actually. I look like a bird with no feathers. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't but, like that. N- no, I don't. It's ugly. I'm ugly. You just... <laughs> Why are you Come laughing on. when you say that? It's, it's funny. <laughs> Sad. Maybe but I could. need feathers on my whole body. Now i got to put them all in my right shoe. No, thank you. Mm. But I don't want to vomit. <laughs> Boy, this yeah. is a tough one for you. Yes, Casey, well, you have a question? No, not really a question. Just vomiting is so... I try to do everything to well, yeah, Is the, it in your mouth or is yes, it full is it coming on? Out it's full mouth. projectile. It's oh. like, projectile. It's just like once. poltergeist uh, two, maybe, style, just like all the right. way over to the other wall. Can, Where, wherever the opposite wall is, it will that, reach. What if you're in like a huge stadium? Like the Sistine Chapel or something? Yeah, yeah if you're in a stadium. Far. What all if you're the, in like a you're cemetery? Watching, you're watching the arcade fire. <laughs> 
Uh-huh. Out there on stage, it'll, yes. it'll go straight through Wynn Butler wow. and just all the <laughs> way over it. to the other side. But with the feather, can you still wear shoes? Could this be Good covered question. up? You you certainly can. They are unpluckable, though. So unpluckable. The, the more you are sexually attracted to someone, the more bird like, the more feathers you will grow, and they're unpluckable. Well, feathers. I would have, you, I you would never have molt. two feathers. You you've right only now. been. Uh oh, who is it? Wait a minute, there's three of us. Who is it? I know. It's our two guests. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck You're you, both Scott. just so, so <laughs> sexual, both of but you. But he's Thank ugly. You. Thank you. I'm <laughs> ugly and she still likes me. You're just both irresistible. <laughs> I thought you were getting into a song there. No, no, I have no more songs. <laughs> okay. Okay, so <laughs> is there a sound? Because, you know, it can be kind of awkward if you met someone and you were sexually attracted to them and then all of a sudden you hear like a poof when the feather it's not comes a out. Pff, there is a sound. It's like... Okay. Boner time. Oh, so wait. they'll know. They'll oh, know. Yeah, okay. but I mean, wouldn't that, that could work? Wouldn't though. that make it easier on it? Like, if, if it would be flattering, you know, yeah. if you're the other person. Look, the cards the, are on the table, though. The way. world I want to live in is anytime <laughs> anyone is point. anytime anyone is sexually attracted mm-hmm. to another person, we just say it. We just say it. You know, like wouldn't yeah, it be the world easier? could be more like that. That it's based like in the workplace. Did you forget how to talk? <laughs> like that, <laughs> Lickly. <laughs> Yeah, but, I. I uh. But vomiting every time. Okay, every time you hear a proper noun, let's go through some of the proper nouns that we know. George Washington, Lady Gaga. <laughs> Those are the two. I don't have any. <laughs> From George Washington to Wait, Lady Gaga. Is it famous or is it simply yeah. like you know Cheryl? Not Cheryl Crow, but just like simply Cheryl, Cheryl. is a proper noun. Yeah. Oh, mm. interesting. Is yeah. is uh, the Empire Washington? State Building? Or, yes. Washington. Yes. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's going to be a lot of time. shit. Is not no. shit. Is not okay. shit. Is not. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for trying. <laughs> Mrs. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Mrs. Shit. Yes. What about weird? <laughs> well, if it's like Weird Al Yankovic, oh, yeah, then yes. Get but if not, no. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. So that I mean, there's that. So I mean, yeah. you're you're at this point, you're trapped between. Anyone that you ever meet, knowing when you're sexually attracted, but how to you. horny is everyone? I mean, it's well, that's a great yeah, question. A lot of times- I, I meant to ask you in your interview segment, how horny are you? Very, very. You know, <laughs> after I saw your wife's lingerie, I. <laughs> Would have had the feathers, you know? <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, well, sometimes uh, sexual attraction isn't immediate and it comes later, you know? That, what a wonderful love story that would be if, like, two people start off as friends. They're in the friend zone. Right, mm. friend zone. They think they're just friends. They think they're yeah. just friends, and then one day— And then day, you hear boner alert. <laughs> So, wait, when a woman boy, is boy, sexually boy, attracted, is it still go boy, 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 It still boner says boner alert? Alert. Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's what it is. All great ideas have to start from the male perspective. Right. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, thank yes. you. You're welcome, everyone. Hashtag Rose's Army. <laughs> so, when you say these... These feathers are unpluckable. Yes. Do they continue to grow out of the same spot like a long they chain grow, of they feathers? They grow on the tip of the <laughs> previous feather. <laughs> like a okay. Dr. Seuss. So it's like a big long rat tail. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you say Dr. Seuss? Kind of Dr. Seussian. It's, it's sort Seussian. of Seussian, yes. Seussian for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Faux show. Oh. Faux show. I don't know wow. if slang is a great look I, on you. No. I would what have up, to my say, dogs? D- don't vote yet, by the way. Oh, okay, Otherwise, yes. you're going to d- get points docked. But uh, okay, can I, you? I, yeah, they're unpluckable. Can you cut them off? Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> oh. oh you're if cut you them just off want the scissors. sensation of plucking something, you're out. Yeah. Oh no, you can cut them. Oh. It uh, causes you, uh, you know, intense, intense pain for the next 364 days. Oh. Mm, so one day off of the yes. pain. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you can you aim the vomit? <laughs> well, it's every time you hear a proper noun, so I guess you could sort of Do you have any time get a to, sense yeah. of when someone is about to say a proper noun? Like I guess if you're listening to a story and someone's saying like, "Oh, by the way, I wanted to tell you the story." I went to the mall the other day. Just look up real with, fast. And yeah, and you look up. At, <laughs> I went to the mall the other day with uh, Gladys. Mm. <laughs> Night. <laughs> and the yeah. pips. There it goes. And there you've gotten three yeah. already. You've got Gladys, Gladys Knight. Knight, Mrs. Shit, <laughs> Widow Yankovic, mm-hmm. um, Lady Gaga, George Washington. You have to 
Worry yeah, about five throw-ups. Empire State Building. So yeah. you throw up every time, every single time, and the exact same amount. Does right, it deplete amount. your body, or there's there some sort of supply? No, it's a magical supply okay, of okay. vomit. That I, What's I think it made is, of? It's well, uh, that's very interesting. It's made of like uh, cinna- cinnamon rolls, like cinnabons. Cinnabons. Well, that's th- there could be worse things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Much yeah so worse. it's not bad coming back up, but it's uh, traveling from no- another dimension. You're getting all of the vomit, cinnabon vomit from another dimension. And oh, do you really? lose weight? Uh, yes, you're very, very skinny. I oh. think you maybe have made your choice. Which, by the way, I've closed the floor for questions, okay? Oh, okay. Closed the floor. I'm sorry. I told you there would be no warning. Uh, let's go around and vote. Casey, how are you voting? I am voting feathers, 100%. Feathers! Yes. Even though the the losing weight part is... Yes, because I'm a lover. I don't mind if someone knows... Mm-hmm. You know what's going on is my guru, Marion Williamson, says everyone knows everything. Oh, wow. interesting. Wow, deep, deep. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I don't like throwing up. You don't like throwing up. So would you keep the feathers in the long just chain? And how would you <laughs> deal with it? I would. I would just kind of put it around my neck like a bull. It's nice. Yeah. I mean, it's a. I mean, once it's an interesting fashion experiment. Exactly. Every single day of the year, you're the weird lady. I don't lady. want to feel pain for a year. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Good. Okay, so feathers. Casey's with yeah. feathers. All right, uh, Martin Sheffield Lickley. Hello, Martin Sheffield Lickley dot com. Uh, <laughs> I w- I'm doing feathers. Feathers as um, well. Because I'm ugly and I need feathers. Um, I I'm disgusting. <laughs> Uh, so, but I would also, uh, you know, I get that one day off. I'm going to cut the feathers off. You're cutting them off. Yeah, wow. I'm going to cut okay. the feathers off. So you're going to be just an intense, like, migraine-like pain. Yes, but you already in emotional pain. I am. So I know how to deal with this. It's just sure. to top a little physical pain to my emotional pain. But I'm going to time it so my 165th day is Christmas. So uh, Christmas is... Christmas so, is my day off. So basically... Where you can box, gather with your family. Oh. Fam- Boxing day, oh, you're going to cut oh. them all off. Boxing day, cut them all off. But you, yeah. And then... Um, You'll be spending Christmas alone. Spending Christmas at alone at the mall looking for people that I know. <laughs> I but I'm sure, do you have a daughter or anyone else? Oh, I wish. I wish. My daughter's dead. <laughs> what happened to your daughter? Well... She was hit by a bus. Oh, no. Oh, survived. No. Oh, okay. Started smoking. Oh, oh no. no. Died of emphysema. Right. She wow. saw the video. She saw that on the bus? You got to hide yeah. that video from people. She was on the bus. So uh, she was so hit the, by the bus and then got onto the bus that hit her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, she, she said, I still got to make it work. The ambulance. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. She was like, well, I guess if you, this is the M42 line, you're going past the hospital. I'm right, actually yeah. not pay for Plus, the ambulance. Plus, I wouldn't trust the EMTs knowing what I know about them now. No, yes. you can bribe them with a handful of credit cards. You can. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Interesting vote from an interesting person. Okay, Chase, how are you voting? It's a tough choice, but I'm going to have to say uh, throwing up. Wow. The vomit, okay. Oh. I'm and afraid wh- the feathers would give me away when I assume mm. a new identity. Yeah, mm. you would That's be that one true. person with the feathers. A trail of feathers behind me no matter what, so it feels... Yeah, now now you're just the guy with about 86 Princess in the Pea like <laughs> mustaches stacked up on top of your bottom or your upper lip. I'm gonna, and there is like I'm a little... Un- somebody sleeping uncomfortably on the <laughs> yeah. top mustache and like tossing and turning. <laughs> yeah. This is my little friend. <laughs> little, little guy. <laughs> You've heard him say hello to my little friend? <laughs> well, this is my little this friend. This is him. Yeah. Okay, well, that's uh, a very interesting vote. So let's tally up the points. Feathers uh, gets one point apiece, and Vomit gets two points. So, Oh, my gosh. Wow. Uh, Chase, you're the winner. Amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> wow. That's how we play Would You Rather. I cannot believe it. Wow. That was a close one. But you pulled it out just I, right in the nick of time. <laughs> how did he win? To- yeah. We voted vomit, which gets him two That's points. That's the correct answer, right? Well, oh. no, it's not. There's no correct answer in this. Just sure. one point for feathers, two points for vomit. Wow. Did I not mention that at the top? I think, nope. I think I was confused. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, sorry about that. All right. Amazing. Well, uh, we're coming up to the end of the show. There's only one thing left to do, of course, and that is a little something called plugs. <laughs> Wow, that was uh, pretty cool. I wonder if that was a band. Uh, That was Heavy Plugs Theme by Lost and Found. 
one word, Lostin. Uh, if you have a plug theme, you know what to do. Okay, let's plug it up. Uh, Casey, the Bitch Sesh Tour starts very soon. Yes. What are the dates here? August 2nd through 5th or 6th. We're going to D.C., Boston. Wait, you're doing... Three or four days? Four days. That's a tour? Yes. Well, we're going to, sh- we've just come from Chicago. Okay. And we've also come from um, New York City. So Previously, previously in the this year. summer. Oh, I see. Okay. So we're going to Boston, D.C., Fort Lauderdale, and Fort Atlanta. Lauderdale? Wow. That's so yes. out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's a tour. You pick a bunch <laughs> of cities, like major markets that are close to each other. But Don't you worry cemeteries. about it. Danielle Schneider's <laughs> family is from near there. Oh, okay. And I oh. see. So you guys are going down to we see. We have a lot of fans in okay. that in the mm-hmm. Florida area. Okay, interesting. Okay, yeah. so DC, Boston, Atlanta, Atlanta, and Fort Lauderdale. Yes. Okay, and how can people get tickets? They can just go on my Instagram and look up everything. Okay. And I'm also on season two of a little show on Netflix called Atypical. 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 Okay, we'll check that out as That's well. It. That's Casey Wilson. Okay, uh, Martin Sheffield Lickley, what are you? <laughs> I'm also on tour. I'm going to be hitting the Paramus Memorial Cemetery uh, in New Jersey, mm-hmm. um, along with Fort Lauderdale. Oh, boy. Yes, I'll be down there. Uh, there's just a, somebody, a, a little plot. And who do you know? Who <laughs> do you know there? A little family plot. Oh, that's my friend, uh, Bot. Bart or bot? That <laughs> rhymes with plot. You just said family wait, plot, and wait, then your friend was bot? Wait a minute. Is this like a Russian bot that you befriended? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're kidding me. Did you I, find the body? Or No. No, it was just an, it was an email that was uh, promoting Trump. Okay. <laughs> I became friends with. <laughs> wow. He passed away. Okay. So... All so right. Bot is buried <laughs> in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. Also, check out the Teacher's Lounge on uh, Howl and Stitcher okay. Premium. All right. Very good. Wow. Uh, Chase uh, or Dan. Uh, or uh, Vance. Vance or Vance, like. whatever, yeah. Uh, I what prefer you... Chase because this is my newest identity. Mm-hmm. Um, I, obviously, my book. Uh, obviously. Uh, well, uh, what's the point? Well, what's the point? Currently by, currently currently by Chase Varner. Uh, outside but of it, that, in about a week, it's going to be. Maybe uh, <laughs> Zach Oyama. Uh, oh, so, so Zach Oyama is your next uh, <laughs> probably name my that next you're going to pick? <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, go see uh, a show called Asian AF uh, at UCB Sunset once a month. Sure. I hear that that is a fun show. I think I've been to that show. Yeah, yeah I think it was fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so people can go see that. I want to plug, I don't know, uh, Comedy Bang Bang TV show is out there. You can watch it on Netflix, all five seasons. Why not? All right, let's close up the old plug bag. Whoa! It's time to open it. It's time to open the bag. 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 Open the bag. All right, that's a great song, isn't it? <laughs> so good. I like that. We're uh, halfway through the year, and it is really cooking. It's cooking. <laughs> that song. Are, are you all right? You have a tear rolling down your... Oh, do I? Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, now I, the other guys, one. Guys, I'm Shit. sorry. Has yeah. Vance Dan passed? Oh, my God. Oh, um, Ch- Chase is uh, he's down at the... Oh, my God. I'm... Clearly dying. Oh, you're no. crying and you're dying. Everyone you touch. I, and I'm take, spying this all happening. Take, give me this, take these. Credit card? Here you go. Yeah, what? Use them. For Use them? Point. Everyone you know dies. <laughs> Shit. I'm dead. I pro- no, please. No, <laughs> Vance, Dan, Zach. No. No. <laughs> Shit. Terrible. It's this not the What are you dying of? Infa. <laughs> Infa. Don't say Zima. Don't say Zima. Don't say Zima. <laughs> that, I usually, I usually, that's not what I like to hear at a bar. I love to hear Zima. Yeah, but, we don't know uh, Zima. No. Oh, no. Well, shit. Not the first time someone's died at the end of a show, and probably won't be the last. Wow. But uh, rest in peace, Chase. Long rest live Zach Oyama. Rest in power, of God, course. I've got to get to the studio. <laughs> what am I going to write about? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you have some credit cards. Love credit card, love maybe? Love credit card. Love Love us, debt. Love, love debt. Love them. Um, <gasps> I got it. What do you got? Love car. <laughs> love car. Okay, okay we'll, be, well. we'll be looking for that new single on <laughs> martinsheffieldlickley.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for listening. And remember... Support for today's show comes from Ben and Jerry's, known for creating euphoric ice cream with quirky and unique flavor combinations and delicious chunks and swirls throughout. And now with new Mooforia flavors, digging into a bowl of your favorite treat is even sweeter because at 140 to 160 calories per serving, Mooforia is the lightest way to enjoy all the euphoria of Ben and Jerry's. Available in three amazing flavors, including chocolate milk and cookies, Caramel Cookie Fix, and PB Dough. Try them all! Go to store.benjerry.com to have new Mooforia light ice cream delivered to you. Hey, this is Arnie from the comedy podcast Hello from the Magic Tavern, a chat show I host from the magical land of Foon with my co-hosts... Usador, the Blue Wizard. And Chunk, the Shapeshifter. Most weeks we interview adventurers... Wedding planners... Ambulatory trees. But this week we have a special episode... I am so excited to learn about the Earth lore contained in Pride and Prejudice. We're going to do a book club of Pride and Prejudice. And you say this is a well-loved book on Earth, right? Yeah, it's one of those books that people love or were forced to read or more... More likely, it's one of those I'm going to get to it. And some of our most beloved guests are returning to read the book with us and enjoy some drinks and food over book club. We have Flower, we have Crom the Barbarian. And Germ. You know who they are. Maybe you don't give a crap about what an academic thinks about Jane Austen, but don't you want to know what a wizard and a badger think about it? Not enough spells. Not enough grubs. Not, Not enough, enough sword fights. fights. Whether you love Pride and Prejudice or have no interest in reading it and just want to listen to a book club go really off the rails, you'll enjoy this week's Hello from the Magic Tavern. We shall defeat this book!